This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, and so if you want to indirectly support the channel while also buying or selling cards for your own matches, your own tournaments, your own duels, your own purposes, your own needs, then definitely check out their site and see what they have to offer you. I'm a big fan of how they do business, and their pricing and shipping from what I've seen and experienced thus far are both top notch. So definitely check out their site, which is linked in the description, and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video and this time I'm playing with the new Performer Pals Zodiac formatted deck yet again because I really enjoy playing this deck. I really love it because of the fact that I love Performer Pals, I love Pendulum Summoning, I love Zoo, I love Dryden, I love making Digesto Emerald. Digesto Emerald is probably my favorite Xyz monster in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! period. Uh, and my opponent is playing Metal Foes and he has gotten to go first so that's going to be a little bit of an issue for me but I think we can work with it. So he's Pendulum Summoning straight here. Interesting. I don't know what the purpose of that was. Um, I don't think that was correct. Uh, especially since you've got the gold driver here. You could have used stealing to pop the gold driver. And then put the gold driver in your scale. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Mate! Are you just like tired or something? I don't know what's going on. I definitely think you should have... I feel like he probably misclicked. Um, especially since like... On his field orienting... The Steelin would be in this zone, and that is where the special summon for Pendulum goes. So I feel like that's what happened. I'm gonna have to check back with him on that. Um, but basically, I drew a wrap here. That's fantastic. And I've got Sky Iris and these. Whoa! Um, I might be able to drop a Vortex Dragon this turn. But so, even though there are two cards in my hand that are not combo cards, uh, we're still gonna be able to just boogie on up. Uh, I don't have Duelist Alliance, but I have access to Pendulum Sorcerer, so that's fine. Uh, so, he made a Dinosaur and Pass. He's playing Draco Slayer Metal Foes, uh, which is a little bit of an outdated deck um, in terms of, like, the Draco Slayer Metal Foes deck was, like, the very first iteration of Metal Foes that ever saw any, like, competitive play in the OCG, if I remember correctly. Um, it was just one of those decks that was just like, we're just gonna try and make this work. But, uh, but it just ended up not. Now, I can actually... I can actually do the Ignister play um, with King of the Feralimps uh, to search for Masked Chameleon. That'd be pretty fucking good. Um, <laughs> I've got a lot of different things that I've got access to here uh, as far as that goes. I don't have a high scale though, uh, which I could change pretty easily uh, depending. Uh, I can make Dryden here, I could pop this, get my wrap here back, make King of the Feralimps, search Masked Chameleon. Um, or I could put this in my scale, pop it, uh, search for a thing. I'll be able to do Gaturtle Lizard Draw after I Pendulum Summon anyway, so I'm not too worried about that. I don't get to do Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon if I'm doing it that way, though. Uh, but that's the better outcome, I believe. So, we will do it that way. Um, yeah. So, I need to throw a random material over this, uh, Chaka Nine. And then I need to make a Drydent so that I can pop this Ram Ram. Or actually, what am I doing? I could just activate this and pop the Ram Ram. I had a moment of like blank there where I could have just not. <laughs> like, I could have just not. Um, whoops. Uh, but it's fine. I'm still in, in game, I'm still making the Drydent anyway. But the only thing this changes is that I could have had the Ram Ram under the Drydent. Uh, but like, it's not really that big of an issue. Uh, and I can always just like do like Tiger Mortar and a Hammer Kong later in the turn if I wanted to, um, and if I needed to. Not really. It's not really a matter of want. It's kind of a matter of need. Uh, but King of the Fairlands for Mass Chameleon is like my favorite play in this deck because of the fact that it just lets you make Ignister on point. Any Zoo card plus any summonable or just normal summoning wrap here by itself allows you to get to your access into like a live, um, a live Ignister. But so we'll put these in the scale. And I'll Pendulum 3, I'll Pendulum these three cards, uh, and then that'll be good. Uh, that'll be good from there. I'll be able to make Ignister, and I'll be able to pop um, a thing, <laughs> and then search a thing. The thing is, is that now I'm going to break his board, the fact that he doesn't have counter set um, is going to be a huge, huge, HUGE problem for him. Uh, we'll do a Turtle Lizard draw, because I could just draw into any of those Skulkerbat Jokers. Uh, it's going to be a huge issue for him uh, going forward. 
uh, to not have those as accessibilities. Uh, but I can use Dryden to pop his uh, Dinoster literally right now. Uh, so we'll do that. That's That fact hasn't changed. And now I can use these cards to go into Ignister. And then I can use the Ignister to spin. Um, like, I'll spin his... I'll uh, destroy his Steelin and I'll spin his Gold Driver. I'd rather him have two mismatched levels in his extra deck rather than having two Gold Drivers. Uh, but so now the point is is that now I've got Dryden't. Yeah, I, th I think he just... I think he misclicked. I think he misclicked and played his turn wrong. I'm gonna have to ask him in the Discord afterwards. Um, it's like, hey, did you, uh, did you mean to do that? Or, um... Uh, because, like... That's a pretty big faux pas if he, uh... If he accidented that in that way. Uh, but so what we've got here is we can use this. Uh, I can use this to pop the luster that I can summon off this. So that I keep the uh, I keep the uh, barrage there so I can use it next turn. So that'll be good. Uh, but I'm going to do this and summon... I can summon Thoroughblade um, and rotate the Whiptail out. But I'm going to be drawing a card anyway off of Digesto Emerald. Uh, so I'd rather keep the Whiptail... And I'd rather just go ahead and get the... I'll get the Whiptail out of deck just so I can make Digesto Emerald with it. And that will be that. This Dryden's in defense mode, so I'm going to be keeping this Whiptail in hand anyway. Uh, but I'm going to be attacking with all of these. If the Dryden was in attack mode, I think this is game. In fact, it might be game by itself. Um, because that's that's 28, uh, that's 51. Yeah, this, this might just be game. <laughs> this might be game by itself, because this is... This is a lot. This is 27. That's 5k. No, it's gonna be it's gonna be uh, a couple a, 150 short of game, uh, which is partly due to my blunder with the Sky Iris thing. I just completely blanked on the fact that I had Sky Iris in hand. I was just I was I was doing things in ways where I should have put a little bit more thought into them. Uh, but so we'll make the Digesto Emerald here, and I'll just detach. Uh, I have a Pendulum Sorcerer in the extra deck, so I'm not worried about the one that's under here. I'm going to put back the Whiptail, I'm going to put back the Broadbull, and I'm going to put back the Rat Pierre uh, to shuffle and draw a card. So, like, this deck's draw engine is just really... <sighs> Why do I keep doing this in multiple videos? Multiple videos, I put it back. I put the card back, a one-of, in my deck, and I draw it. When I still have 20-plus cards in deck. Rip. Um, oh, well. Not, not a huge issue. Uh, so I guess we'll just end turn here. Uh, I'm, I'm in a commanding position. He can't establish one pendulum scale uh, with the fact that I've got Dryden here. Uh, I, I really think he misclicked on his first turn because of the fact that he, well, one, he had the Draco Slayer in his hand. He could have used Master in the scale. Hmm, what's going on here? Oh, he surrendered. Um, what's going on here, man? Okay. It's like really late at night, so he could just be really tired, but at the same time, I feel like he could have salvaged that and then misclicked um, and pendulum summoned. I'm going to ask him in my Discord, and I'm going to make a little note of it in the video of what his response is. Um, luckily, this isn't the only video that's going up today, but his playline, he could have activated Master first, put a scale in, popped, put another scale in, popped, put another scale in, popped, and then had three sets... And a and a potential full uh, full scale or would it be three sets? No, it'd be two, based off the knowledge that I know about his hand. That I knew about his hand of all the cards I saw. I saw two, a Steelin, two Gold Drivers, and a Master Pendulum. Those are the cards I saw. So he could put Master in the scale, put Gold Driver in the scale, pop, put Gold Driver in the scale, pop the first Gold Driver, pop that sets two, put Steelin in the scale, Pendulum his Master and his Gold Driver. Um, and then make his Dino Stare. And then he could use the uh, Steelin that he's put in his scale to pop the Gold Driver out of the scale if he wanted to. And then he'd end with like two or three counters set. Meaning when I out his Dino Stare, then he's going to be summoning like three from deck and then guaranteeing scales next turn. Yeah, I think that, I think that he just made a huge blunder in terms of gameplay error. Um, he might not be familiar with Metal Foes either. I don't know. I'm going to talk with him on that, but that's not the only video that's going up today, so I'm not too worried about it. People make mistakes. God knows I've made more than a few on camera to just to not be able to justify it. 
uh, as a possible just gameplay error and mistake on his part. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. I just had a little theory session with myself on on uh, gameplay, so there's there's that kind of dragging this video on. So sorry about that. But anyway, as I said, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. But other than that, links as always are in the description. My Facebook and Patreon pages. If you want to support the channel directly, support something you like, support the content I'm making, and helping some future projects come you know closer into being because of financial backing not really being there for it uh, if you want to help out with any of those things or if you want to get into my private discord server where me and dance king and about 14 other people just are shooting the shit on a regular basis and uh, we are also the this is the discord server that i get every single person that i play for dual videos from I only exclusively get people from there so if you want to play people um, or if you want to play me huh, you can play those people or you can play me um, then you definitely want to go check that out, but link is like I said to that in the description But other than that if you like this video smash that like button It's really late at night, and I'm losing my enthusiasm. I'm losing my steam uh, In terms of being able to comprehend my thought processes uh, But if you like the video then smash the like button give this video a thumbs up to show your support for the things that I'm doing The content I'm creating and to show me that you like it and want to see more of it But other than that if you're new here, maybe consider subscribing if you liked what you saw I'd love to welcome you into this weird little dysfunctional family we've got built around this channel with this community, with me at the helm. Like, I'm, I'm kind of a dumbass. <laughs> I don't know how people take me seriously, but hell. Uh, but if you want to see more awesome, well, at least what I think is awesome, Yu-Gi-Oh! content, then definitely consider subscribing if you already haven't. But other than that, as I've already said, thanks for watching, thanks for your time as usual, guys, and take care. I'll see you in the next video.